traders I'm back again with another video and today I want to take time to discuss with you a formation that is seen in Ichimoku and it's a very powerful formation when you do see this so it can help you to either get into a trade or help you not to get into a trade a bad trade so to keep you from getting into a bad trade going the wrong way or help you get into a good trade going the proper way and this formation is called the C-clamp formation and basically I call it the C-clamp formation because it looks just like a C-clamp and let me show you what I'm talking about here's a C-clamp right there so this is what a C-clamp looks like so let's go back to our chart and see if we could see what this C-clamp looks like so here's the Kijinsen and here's your um, Tinkinsen and they are a C-clamp formation this is the bottom part this is the top part okay let's look at that again the bottom part is going to be my Kijinsen and my Tinkinsen up top okay so you see that right so here it is again. So what you have here is you see how far T, uh, your Kijinsen and Tinkinsen are from each other. Very far from each other. Usually you look on your chart you could go back as far as you want. You won't see them that, much, that far apart and when you do that's a big indication of something. Now a lot of times when I see this formation I want to make sure this formation can help me to realize that I may be near a top or a bottom or near a strong support and resistance uh, level. So therefore I pay close attention to this level to this um, formation. And as you could see I just got in out of a trade basically and I made 166 pips on this trade and looking at this when you see this formation develop it can help you like I said to get into a trade or get, not get into a bad trade the opposite way because you're getting so far away so I already made a video and talked about the uh, Tenkinsen Kijinsen disequilibrium well that's what it is right here that's all this basically is and pr they're so far apart from each other that that's disequilibrium along with the price being so far from Kijinsen that's gonna help you to stay out of going taking that long trade because really looking at the four hour time frame if you're trading a four hour time frame you're gonna wanna take this long okay but if you look at your daily and you see that formation that's gonna help you to not take that trade and then also we're gonna be able to get into the trade so it's gonna help you not to take a trade and it's gonna help you to get into a trade now there's ways to trade this and one way you can see if you're trading on the daily because you're not gonna be trading your four hour because your four hour is more than likely going to be telling you to go long so you would be waiting for the uh, Kumo breakout so you'd be waiting you'd missed all this and you'd have to wait for a breakout now price may bounce here and come back down and, and then break out by then I'm already 166 pips up in the game okay so I traded the daily time frame looking at my daily seeing the formation seeing that price wants to get back to equilibrium price needs to get back to equilibrium and so does the Tinkinson and Kijinson they need to get closer together they're never that far apart they're just like mates they like to always be together they don't like to be that far apart from each other and when they are you can guarantee they're gonna get back together alright so this is the time they're gonna do that so a lot of times when price is that far away you're gonna either have two things happen you're either near a top which is going to be a strong support or resistance level if you're at a top or a bottom or you you if you're not at a top or a bottom price is going to probably range until everything catches back up and then make the next move higher or lower okay so this is a very good indication to help you to stay out of a bad trade or help you to get into a good trade and I can't really tell you how to trade this thing because there's a whole bunch of ways to trade it but you can see one way here is this pin bar here you have a big pin bar and a lot of times at strong uh, resistance points or support points you might get a pin bar like this and then you can trade the pin bar so if you want to learn how to trade these certain um, formations and there's other types of formations that we have with this Ichimoku that people haven't even um, really thought about or looked at and, and enhanced on it and I just want to get deeper into this so really you could get deeper into this if you look at my course you'll see that we have this formation and exactly how we trade it and um, how we make sure we're not getting into a trade going the wrong way so you could see this this is the Swiss franc yen on the daily time frame so I took this trade and made 166 so now price is either going to stay here in range or try to get back to equilibrium come closer to Kijinsen here so price has a possibility of dropping back down to this level and then see what happens from there so basically the way we trade when we're trading with the course and the members that we have we try to wait for 
levels that we want to trade at and we have these levels predefined and those are the levels we look for and get into a trade we otherwise we're not trading we wait for price to get to these levels that we want price to be and we also need everything to be in equilibrium so right now things are not in equilibrium and they need to get back into equilibrium on the daily time frame so that's the swiss franc yen you can see also the euro yen same thing now another thing that we teach is this level here how did we get this level to trade this level because now see there's a couple things that can happen here we could take a trade a bounce off of this level right or else we uh, look for um, the e this equilibrium with the Tenkinsen and Kijinsen and know that price is going to range so if price is going to range maybe this is going to be the level that price ranges at so we could go to this four hour time frame and we could have taken this trade here off of the bounce here and you know I show people how to find these levels and know which level this is so if you go back to your daily just look at these fractal levels look at this fractal level the market likes to pay attention to these fractal levels and a lot of times the market breaks a fractal level comes back to a fractal level I've already talked about that basically in one of my fractal videos that's online so I just wanted to really post this and let you guys see that there's so many things that people don't realize or talk about or, or understand about Ichimoku but I'm breaking down all doors and trying to show and teach as much as I can and it's easier for me to teach people that are in my course so I just want you to see if you um, want to have a look at the course see if you like it maybe um, you might want to uh, sign up for the course this is a membership basically and what it's going to give you is lifetime membership to this Ichimoku course that we have here and everything that we talk about now we have course videos and then we have everyday videos that we make um, showing trades trade ideas um, these formations and all that stuff talked about so there's a couple things you could do if you're really interested in learning more about this you could either come to our um, basically you could come to our site here and go to Ichimoku home video course and where you see that Ichimoku home video course so you go to FF, fx at one glance dot com and then you go to Ichimoku home video course and then sign up and that'll buy you the course you come down here and you select the course and the course is 250 right now and I can guarantee you that the course is um, probably underpriced because there's so much information and this is basically like I said a lifetime membership it's not really a course it's really a membership but if you don't want to pay for that you can also get this free just go to this chaos uh, trader 63 form and then click that and then it'll take you here and then when you come here you could sign up as a free guest I'm uh, not a free guest but a free member and you can learn all this same stuff that we're talking about here's our course down here and this is where we have our videos and exams course exams and then other extra videos and we talk about our trades and then I post trade setups for the week so well actually I put them under the forecast but here's our posted trade setups that other members talk about but if you come on as a free member you'll just be able to see this content up here but I post a lot of stuff in here too so we have a lot of trades and analysis here we have our course stuff here that we talk about with um, free members and then also we have a um, right now we're doing a trading contest and we're going to give away a course to somebody so that's one thing that I think is good so just always trying to find ways to improve things and do things but yeah guys definitely want you to think about this formation here and whenever you see this formation be Larry whenever you see Tenkinsen and Kijinsen this far apart then you should know that maybe you don't want to trade in the direction of the trend here the trend is probably not your friend at the moment so you need to be careful in your long trade or your short trade if it's the other way around and then once price gets back to equilibrium then you can go back to your trade your normal trade with the um, trend okay guys that's all I really wanted to talk about and um, you can also learn these things and be a part of this for free or be a paid member just join our forum and you could get in on all this stuff too alright guys thank you appreciate you guys and have a great Thanksgiving God bless so long